yo 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 we are back and we're like we were literally just eating before this uh this thing started but uh we're back for another live music review seeing if your music is ready for tv and film if it is we'll let you know if it's not we'll let you know that as well um we got a special guest flares in the building he's gonna be helping us critique this music uh we just had a dope conversation for the podcast if you missed that stream you need to go back and watch that there was a lot of gems dropped um so super dope also producers have been asking about beats for tv live the free master class that i did back in march which was like four hours long five hours for vip um and it was amazing right so people ask like when is it coming back when is it coming back august 18th next friday at 7 p.m eastern we're doing another beats for tv live masterclass four hours straight talking about production preparation and presentation don't miss this one if you missed the first one because you are you already missed the gems the first time <laughs> make sure you sign up and register it's for free like it doesn't cost you anything keep your credit card in your pocket in your wallet wherever you keep your credit card or apple whatever you don't need it it's free click the link in the description register sign up asap because slots fill up fast and it's gonna be crazy we we're like we're literally hanging out like all friday night together and you're just gonna get you just i've been sitting on stuff for like four months and y'all about to get it all so um <laughs> shout out to the beats for tv live super excited to get that started man Dry, let me see let me see what we got in the building man let me know where you guys are from let me know what you do tonight's about to be lit we got flares in his ears his his uh supernatural ears listening in it's gonna be amazing um, and he submitted some stuff too. So we literally get to, this is weird as heck, bro. Like watching you type in the chat and having you on camera. <laughs> like, it's like, <laughs> it's different, man. This is different. <laughs> um, but no, it, it's going to be dope. So he submitted some stuff. So we get to hear, um, some dope music as always in the night. Um, we'll probably have to, we'll have to double tie Patty down tonight. Cause I'm sure she's Ooh. about ready to run already um so yeah uh kim durr is back with us e-money bags what's up glad you were able to catch the stream zim zada music is in the building what's up michael connor is back i see you 808 what's up reese speaks we see you sharon soul music shout out to sharon becoming a channel member member of team dope if you haven't become a channel member and you want to see like behind the scenes of me actually working on briefs and a bunch of other stuff then consider becoming a channel member um the link to that is in the description as well i post like a lot of a lot of cool like behind the scenes stuff um that just goes on my day to day um that you know some stuff i can't like share publicly all the time because some stuff is like you know hush hush until it actually works out so you guys kind of get to see that stuff when it happens as well um <clears throat> So yeah, RWJ all day, what's up? BJ, what's up? Halftime Slim is back in the building. It's my wedding anniversary. Hope you do it again. Oh, yeah. listen, you are excused, uh, my friend. <laughs> if it's your wedding anniversary, do not come to Beats for TV Live. Be with your wife. <laughs> um, Lamar Webster is back from Auburn, o Opal Opalika, Alabama. Lamar, you're just you're a man from many places. <laughs> it's just oh, like it's Lamar is just a traveling guy, man. Um, so yeah, what's up, G Five? Back in the building. All right, y'all. LW says Flair should pick the winner tonight. I like that. Idea. Oh, what you think? She put it on you, man. I can't take that. <laughs> that Responsibility. Would be, it's a lot. I know. It's a, it's a heavy one. I'll do what I have to do. Let's go. But Flair. yeah, everyone's still got to vote. There you go. That's for sure. We at least, yeah, we at least need to, we need the people to narrow it down and then you'll pick the, we'll pick the top one. <clears throat> Let's go. November James, we see you. Saint Devil, what's up? Um, all right, y'all. Let me see some fire emojis. Number one, because Flares is here. And number two, if y'all ready to hear some dope music tonight. 
Let me see them and then we'll get started. <clears throat> That's a good question, Michael. Did November James submit as well? We <clears throat> now we'll have to do like a we'll have to do like a a triple stream November James <laughs> versus Flair both live at one time that would be crazy all right i'm seeing the flames come in saint devil quite appropriate for uh saint devil to drop the first set of flares set of flames patty p i see you let's go <clears throat> i usually drop a ice cube but all i could find was a snowflake <laughs> let's go all right let's get to it man let's see who we got up who we got up first um michael connor says he's down with that all right <clears throat> this is the wrong playlist number one let's go to the right one sebastian lw said yes you can um you can take that that burden <laughs> all right up first is run the crown sebastian let's check it out that's a POWA. don't get it twisted Winning it, building it, victory, I'm killing it Giving it my all, you know when I'm feeling it Shut it down, hold it down, impact, close down Lay it down, explosive sounds, run the jewels, we need to crown Showing up, coming up, detonation, blowing up Double up, fill me up, give it up, live it up Making it, taking it, molding it and shaping it Ain't no replacing it, something so sacred Heart of a champion, ready for the top position Ambitions and goals driven, it's the composition Always foul my mission, if I start I'm gon' finish Look deeper, have vision, stick to the final decision Watch out for intruders, laughing at the humor It ain't hard to be a gangster behind a computer Don't look back, stay focused on the future Push past the class of rulers, don't listen to the rumors Winning it, building it, victory I'm killing it, giving it my all You know when I'm feeling it Shut it down, hold it down Impact, close down, lay it down Explosive sounds, run the jewels, we need to crown Winning it, building it Victory, I'm killing it, giving it my all You know when I'm feeling it Shut it down, hold it down Impact, close down, lay it down Explosive sounds, run the jewels, we need to crown Showing up, coming up Detonation, blowing up Run the jewels, we need to crown Oh yeah, that's that's sports all day, man. Um, I like the energy on this one. Um, like the lyrics, I, I can definitely hear it. You know, being used on some some sports highlights, maybe some sports shows. What you think, Flair? Yeah, yeah, really, really cool energy. Like you said, um, I do, I do love the the hook lyrics. Um, those are really cool, definitely for sports. Um, maybe, uh, maybe just a, a tad more like conviction in the. Um, you know, when you're recording those lyrics, um, kind of like a borderline uh, shout could be cool to just to really, you know, drive home that energy. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, that'd be really good for sports for sure. Indeed. Yeah, you can. Uh, I don't think you can ever have too much energy when it comes to, to sports vocals. Um, I legit went horse one day <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to do. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, no, it wasn't even a full song. I was working on a on an ad. And they just wanted, it just wanted like some, some quick like shouts or whatever, like some just high energy shouts. And I sent them one and I, by nature, I'm like, I'm a laid back guy. So like, you know, like I'm a only get so hype, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it wasn't hype enough for them. They was like, no, we need you to get really, really hyped. So I'm like, shoot, right. so I drunk, drunk some water and lost my voice. Oh, <laughs> no, dude. Rick, I mean, yeah, I know, <laughs> especially if you're in an apartment or something, uh, <laughs> a neat trick. Well, what you can do is maybe try messing around with some distortion, you know, add like a, um, yeah. you know, a decapitator and, uh, they have a, they have a cool preset on there, uh, called angry scream and you can, you can mix that in. So that kind of can kind of get you there with a li little bit of that energy and that, that, um, yeah, just with that, with that distortion. I like that. Uh, the decapitator, that's by sound toys, right? Mm -hmm. yeah yeah dope um yeah man that stuff definitely works well um on some some high energy vocals just adding distortion and stuff like that um super dope michael connor says i like the fact that 808 bass changed notation small details are noticeable 
um, kicking 808, coming through clearly nice. Yeah, good stuff. Keep it up. Um, work on that that energy with the vocals and delivery. And um, yeah, man. Awesome. I think it definitely has potential. Those These are those, those burps coming up now. <laughs> All right, we got A Mill up next. Actually, let me pause. I seen a super chat from somebody. Um, BJ ain't finna play beats. Forgive me. Appreciate the super chat, BJ. Let me see. Let me see if we can find this. Uh, forgive me. BJ ain't finna play. When'd you uh? When'd you submit it, BJ? You get to see me struggle to find tracks in real time, bro. Uh, I think I found it. I found it. Let's go. So, um, definitely a smooth vibe. When the modulation, I guess I'm gonna just work back backwards on this one. Um, Sting ending is some type of solid ending to to end it. Um, when you modulate it um, and, and change keys, I would have some type of transition happen there. Either a transition with the keys, uh, kind of modulating with like some passing chords or something like that. Um, as well as like some type of, uh, what do you call it? Some type of uh, transitional sound, like, I don't know, like a, a riser swoosh, not like a harsh synth riser or anything crazy like that, but something that just hints that a change, a transition is happening. Um, the track itself is long. You could definitely cut the intro like in half and get those drums going um, quicker, like around like pretty much everything you have here in the beginning, like just cut that in half, cut that that first section in half, 
Um, you can just kind of really trim this down to like, you know, if it's instrumental, you know, two minutes um, max. If you do a full song, you probably do two, two and a half minutes um, if you decide to turn into a, a full song. But um, those are my thoughts on it, man. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, no, um, really, uh, really clean and smooth mix. Uh, really loved. Yeah, felt really good. Um, and I think to make to help it not feel so long, um, if you developed um, the arrangement into a couple different distinct sections that maybe the uh, the music supervisors can can go and pick from and and pepper in, you know, however they want. Because right now I, I feel like they would they would kind of think of it. They wouldn't know where um, to kind of start and and end to to kind of take from that or the current arrangement. Um, yeah. because it kind of feels like an on, like an ongoing sentence, a run on sentence. Um, and I think what might help with that is, uh, you know, like Clint just said, um, adding vocals for sure. Um, yeah. you can kind of anchor, um, anchor the track with a, a hook, a vocal hook, and then, um, you know, develop your, uh, different sections around that. Um, I think that would, I think that would really help. Yeah. Absolutely. And then Michael, Michael mentioned adding a live bass player. I definitely think that would take the production level up too. Um, Cause it has that, it just has that vibe and you know, you get you a good bass player on that joint and it's, yeah, it'll, it'll do wonders. Um, and then it can go, it can go either way. You can throw a rapper on here or a singer um, just depending on which direction you wanted to take it. So um, I think it definitely has, you have a, you have a foundation of something. I think now it's just a matter of developing it um, so that it, it, it'll be optimized for, you know, a, a sync situation. Um, so appreciate you sharing that, BJ. Thanks for the super chat. Um, let's keep it keep it moving. Um, <clears throat> oh, the end was a transition to the next track. I got you. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, from album, like a, an album kind of setup or EP thing. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's something to keep in mind, too. Like if you're if you're going to send it, uh, you almost have to kind of think ahead. You know, if you're working in sync and you're working on like an album project, keep in mind, you know, maybe create an alternative version that has um, a different ending that would fit more specifically for TV. So dope stuff. All right. Let's go back to a mill. Falling. Sound sitting in a cafe in my hometown feels like I'm dreaming this time. Slow down when you walk in the room, and now I'm staring into your face. It's the third time, maybe we can finally meet. Tonight, my heart is opened up, and I see your signs giving me the look with your eyes. So come on closer, I'll show you what I'm all about
put the last chip in my mouth. I'll let you start with this one while I finish this chip. <laughs> sure, yeah. Sorry, I was just listening to um I had to have another browser tab open. Um Yeah, Amel, really, really cool track. I, I love the uh like yeah, this would be perfect for um any, you know, modern day, you know, um <laughs> I don't know. The first thing that comes to mind is like a uh, modern day, uh, you know, OC type show or something. Yeah. Um, but something really like pop culture, um, this would be great for. I, I had just a couple, of, a handful of mix notes. Um, to me, the the kick is a little low in the mix currently, and it could use more like forty hertz, like a forty hertz hertz um, uh, a punch. Um, right now, it's kind of like a, a one fifty ish hertz like knock, and it gets a little distracting. I think at times. Um, and I just, I want to feel that, like that, the low end in my chest Yeah. and, um, the vocal is current, is like currently a little too dark for the, for the, to really nail that, like the, the, the current pop sound. Um, you know, you could use something like a, a tube tech compressor to, to really push it forward and make it sound present. Um, you know, kind of like all, all the pop does today. Um, I think th- those th- two things is really all. Um, it needs to to make uh, for a really cool placement in, in today's uh, like modern pop culture TV shows. Yeah, I I agree a hundred percent. I think uh, <clears throat> one thing that that I noticed in the second hook, I would uh, I would have liked to hear the the vocalist open up a little bit more in the second hook. Uh, first, or not? I'm sorry, not the second hook, second verse. Um, Cause the first verse, I like how it started low, and then you went the octave higher in, in the hook, um, and then I probably would have went back down in the first verse, but then that second half maybe, um, I don't know, just add like some some vocal ear candy to just say like, okay, we're not at the same level we are in the first verse, like we're kind of we're, we're about to take it up a notch. Um, but outside of that, um, yeah, man, definitely dope vibes. Um, lyrically, definitely feel like it has potential for sync for sure. Um, LW says, "I hate to save a mill till the end." Yo, y'all gotta re- y'all gotta remind me. I forgot that uh, a mill is like a newly inducted lifetime MVP, and he submits so early. He's like at the top of the list all, <laughs> all the time. So I just end up playing it. Um, but yeah, good stuff, man. Um, awesome. Kim- Kim Durr says, I need an endorsement with these chips. Um, you're e- you eating in your in our face. <laughs> I know, right? I'm a, I, I'm I'm gonna have to hit them up and uh see if see if we can make something happen because apparently <laughs> apparently I like them because I keep coming back every week with a bag of these and eating them. Um <clears throat> so yeah. Let's go, man. Oh, I'll give him DJ Horn for uh, syncability. All right. Rupin. I know I said it right this week. Rupin. Got it. Quirkiness. Let's check it out. I hear you rooping. I think it I think it needs some some mixing um to really bring those sounds out cuz like you, a lot of your sounds are sounding kind of far back um versus the kind of in in your face approach. Um but as far as like the the structure and and melody, I think it it fits for like a quirky kind of you know, reality show cue. Um but yeah, I think the I think that you just need to tighten up the the mix to to really take it to the next level. Um, what do you think? 
Yeah, yeah, the the mix for sure. Um, I, I was going to say, yeah, I I love where you're going with the arrangement. Um, you know, keeping it interesting with the different sections um, is 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 awesome. Yeah, the the sound selection. I, I feel like a couple of things are a little odd, but you know, I think in general it it sound it's it's there. Um, and you could probably you know if you if you tweak the mix a bit. You know, um, you could probably keep it as is and if you want to use that. But, uh, yeah, I think, um, you know, for f- future tracks, challenge yourself and see if you can, um, you know, push push the sound selection that you usually use um, and it just kind of branch out and explore and, and see if, uh, you know, you can kind of grow in that way as well. Yeah, that's good. Um, but, yeah, man, Rupin, appreciate you submitting and um pa- uh not patty zimzada my apologies i think i skipped over your uh super chat so we got zimzada next let's see what let's see what zimzada been cooking up mischievous tinkering all right here we go <laughs> title spot on This was holiday vibes for sure. Uh, what do you think about this one, Flares? Oh man, this was this was great um, arrangement wise, especially like you said, all the different <laughs> sections to really uh, man to, to pull from. Um, man, the the first thing that came to mind was I know it's Christmas um, themed, but I, you could take out some of the bells and man, that'd be perfect for like the, the Halloween baking shows. Yep. Like oh my god, oh, I, yeah. I hear it all over that. Man, yeah, yeah I, that's versatile. Be perfect. Yeah, yep. no, awesome job. I love yeah. it. Yeah, DJ. Man, that, man. Um, one thing I noticed just uh, those sections when you come back in, like here. Let me see if it'll play. Just throwing some some type of riser or transitional effect, like right before that comes back in. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's dope. And then there was a, a riser here. I can't find it, but it was like in one of these sections, I would just turn it down a little bit because it kind of got a little spicy on the volume. But other than that, great job, Zimzada. Um, yeah, I, I like um, I like the idea of like taking some sounds out so that it, it would work for like different situations. And with the title of it, like they wouldn't know. <clears throat> it doesn't pinpoint it to just like holiday or Halloween. Like it'll still be super open. So great work. Exactly. 
Yeah. Um, Chucky Madness says, reminds me of the movie when Ricky Smiley was stealing all the Christmas gifts. <laughs> uh <laughs> toy soldiers alice in wonderland part eight with a dance battle with the animals kim's imagination is through the roof <laughs> i love it reverse symbol will add the finishing touch yep um good pauses to separate music for editors facts several sections got possibilities for cue breaks yeah great work yeah the editors will, will love you for that um dope who do we have next john allen all in a flash let's check it out drop some fire emojis if y'all loving the music so far <clears throat> how you feeling flares man you good over there that um did you finish your mac and cheese good yeah <laughs> great track so far guys yeah man John, John, John. Oh, it's staring me down. <laughs> what was it? All in a flash. All in a flash. All in a flash. Let me refresh. Let's do that. There we go. All right. Here we go. John Allen. <laughs> Flair, I'm gonna let you tackle this one, man. This is, this is like, in your, sort of in your your lane as far as orchestration and composition stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, I, awesome track. I I do I love the um, you know the the level of detail and the the intricacy. You know, you you, you definitely there's a lot there to appreciate, and um, you know, you can you can hear it for sure. Yeah. Um, there's a couple things I would probably you know, revisit and see, um, you know, if you can take another stab at, um, I don't, I didn't really hear a main idea, which might make it difficult for a music supervisor or somebody that wants to use it to kind of remember it and, mm. and, and go back and pick it and use it. Um, and kind of to that same point, I don't really know where I imagine it would be used. Um, uh, and the sound selection, um, you might just want to maybe revisit that, um, especially the strings. Um, I think you could, I think you could get um, some more realistic and convincing strings in there, um, and definitely, I, it would, it would um, add to the appreciate appreciation of the 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 detail that you uh, arranged. Great job, though. Yeah, indeed. It um, it sounds like uh, it sounds like something that would be written or composed to like an actual i don't know something uh scene like even um 
you know how like you have those those clips or like those shorts um right. like my kids watch these like disney shorts and there's no like talking or dialogue but there's like you know a journey like they're kind of taking you on like this little journey for like a couple minutes um it kind of felt like something like that but i i feel like what you said with having a main idea usually i do notice even with those shorts and in the compositions is that there's some sort of main idea that it goes back to um at some point um so yeah good stuff um yeah the skills definitely there man keep it up um and yeah just working working on sound selection man and tighten everything up um from there <clears throat> all father sure. beats is back in um good to see you back in the joint uh let me see act one is setting us up for something nice brass here yeah i definitely the I definitely think it, it could build too i guess it just depends on what it what it ends up being used for that, that usually makes the the difference right um so all right man let's go what time what time is it we got about we got time for a few more uh where do we leave off Ruben, michael connor let's see what michael connor been doing michael connor has been in these these streams. michael there we go <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> nah, so man, like it was. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Michael just like moved to a beach for like the past couple of months and just been in on this tropical vibe, and it just feels really, really good. <laughs> I want to be there. <laughs> no, no, right? I, man, I. Well, I mean, all my notes literally just started with the word "great." So, uh, <laughs> awesome job, my. I, I had uh, great, great vibe to begin with. You know, great mix orchestration you know like everyone says it's yeah. it's really cool nice use of the strings of course per usual um great transitions uh they they, they feel really good nice natural and, and lead great into the next section yeah. um and i think what this really like what where my mind went to for for this was not only an island where i want to be right now but um some cool like you know a, a youtuber's uh you know b-roll on their video it, it kind of feels so natural for that you know if they're like traveling or whatever 
um, you know, and, and those kind of sinks are, are, get, are picking up um, pretty good these days. So, yeah. you know, that would, I think that would be used a lot. So awesome job, Mike. Yeah, man. Great work. DJ Horn. Um, yeah, dude, don't sleep on micro sinks. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like it's uh, especially honestly, bro, like especially with how things have been going with uh, with the, the writer strike, uh, screenwriter strike and all that stuff um, and actors is striking as well. Um I mean, I, I mean, we've already been seeing just an explosion and just original content creation on platforms like YouTube and stuff like that. But I think we'll see even more of it um, because it, it just allows people to kind of control their their careers and their their content. And all of that content is, is going to need music. Um, so good time to, to get in on that stuff. Uh, Michael, he said, I did travel to the Caribbean in March uh that might have something to do with it facts <laughs> that a like use the using those moments as like the best for inspiration i did the same thing when we came back from um uh the dr because you know you're just around it and you hear it like on the the ships and like everywhere you go you just hear the music that's popular in wherever that that place is so like capitalize on that man because you know that's a whole it's a whole album right there um so yeah <laughs> love it man love it all right let's see what else we got man this is uh this is great junior Elian around the city <laughs> I see you, bro. go well executed look like the volume can come up on it a little bit um but yeah i think uh shout out to excalibur zero what's up bro um i think hold on let me listen back because i thought i heard like some might just be the sound nah it's good i think it was just my computer tripping clipping stuff um but yeah no i think it i think it's great i think it works well for reality tv probably some sports stuff um we'll probably turn it up a little bit because it looks like the volume's kind of low um but the structure's on point if 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 you send it for sports um i've been noticing especially when we see the march madness briefs come around every year and like the cbs sports i've been noticing they've been liking the tracks a little bit longer so like you know around two minutes or a little bit over two minutes um so that's something to keep in mind for the for a lot of the sports stuff because i i notice those are like some of the longest placements that i have because during those times where they're like talking a lot <laughs> or those like the selection shows where there's just a ton of talking they'll they'll just play that track for like a long time easy um, to loop so, yep exactly so yeah what do you think man any notes yeah no yeah like you said reality tv um I had just a couple handful of notes here yeah I, I said good drums great you know great groove uh the staccato string hits on the one could hit harder i think that would um make it sound more impactful mm -hmm. uh really cool transitions and you could probably use some 
pads or you know textures to kind of solidify that vibe yeah. um because it at times it feels maybe a little too sparse but you know it's maybe a little nitpicky thing so take it or leave it but yeah awesome, awesome track yeah good stuff man um Let's see. Um, Kim Durr is now crip walking after hearing that track. So shout out, <laughs> shout out to Kim. <laughs> yeah, make sure y'all follow Excalibur Zero, man. Another great guy in the sync space. Um, always dropping gems. Um, all right, let me see. Twenty five. Let's get. Uh, let's get one more. One more in, and then we'll transition, man, into these. Uh, into these MVP joints. All right, this is uh this halftime slim. Who won it? 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 One thing I would say, I would turn the vocals up so I could, so you could feel the vocals a little bit more. Um, but I definitely think it has potential. Um, some some sports shows, some um, uh, any anything sports centric. Um, what do you think, Mark? Yeah, um, kind of kind of to your point. I, the vocals could use some compression. I think that would help make them feel more forward and, and louder. Yeah. Um, especially for that modern sound and you, you know you could also try layering um you know at some points in the chorus too to, to kind of just uh to, to beef up um certain sections and certain lyrics yeah. but uh yeah great great lyrics um the verse has really cool energy i love that and the chorus i think is it maybe could use a little more energy to kind of match the verse um because i think the, the verse does nail it um, and then those background vocals uh, could sit a, fur a little further back in the mix because um, they might be conflicting a bit with the the main mm -hmm. vocal. But uh, yeah, other otherwise, yeah, awesome track. I loved it. Yeah, man, dope stuff. We got um, one more one more super chat here um, from the new channel member Sharon Soul Music. Uh, we'll check this out, and then that'll be it. We'll shut um, super chats down now, and then we'll play this last one, and then we go play november james and then we're gonna end it with flares in in person well not in person it's still virtual but on the live you guys know what i mean all right let's see um the showdown or ready for you let's do <laughs> which one do we do do we do the we'll do this one let's check it out This is the story of a young man that went astray. Yeah, he don't it, he don't it, 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 yeah, yeah. He never saw anything bad. He just didn't live his life bad. Darkness, no light. Bad friends, no right. But one night, God showed him. It 
Beautiful, beautiful queen In this midnight, midnight dream Midnight lucid dream Now bad man no this in no more Bad man following God for more Yeah, God showed him the love of his life me wanting to produce some afro beats now like like this this whole vibe is a vibes on top of vibes um love the listen this is a crazy thing i have no idea what was being said in the hook lyrically so i don't, I don't know if it was in another language or if i just couldn't understand it but i don't even care because the melodies were so dope and the vibe was just was so locked in with the with the production of the track and um you know melodically what was going on um I, I thought it was dope man what you think flares yeah no i you you nailed it and it's funny um i mean we're kind of thinking of the same things here because i i said um you know the song feels like a complete package you know it's not just like a vocal thrown on top of an instrumental it, it feels yeah. like it was made cohesively you know from the same uh, starting point and um it had a clear vision all the yep. way through and, and it was executed great you know great vibe like you said great groove locked in the groove the whole time mm -hmm. um awesome vocal layering in the backgrounds i i i heard it yep. um mix and mastering on point and yeah great arrangement and maybe just at the uh or add a uh, sting ending at the end yep and um man that, that one's good to go <clears throat> yeah man dope stuff um excuse me you guys submitted some some great music tonight. Shout out to Flares for joining us. Um, all right, so we're about to transition into. Y'all know what we about to transition into. All right, we got. Um, I just seen that November James joint. All right, y'all know what to do. If y'all ready for this November James, I need y'all. I need to see some ice or some snowflakes or something in the chat. Let's go. Drop them in the chat. If y'all ready for November, James. <clears throat> and while I'm waiting for y'all to drop those in the chat, don't forget next Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, Beats for TV Live is coming back. It's a live master class with me and my homie Billy. We're going to be talking about the three Ps for getting your music placed in TV for four hours straight, and it's for free. The link is in the description. Make sure you sign up. Don't miss out. Um, Do it's going it. to be a good time, man. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll probably have a bag of these somewhere laying around. 
<laughs> I think you have a stash. I'm I'm convinced. You just have a Bro, whole pantry. Listen, man, I put it on the grocery list. I tell my wife, like, listen, <laughs> there's that you cannot leave the grocery store without coming back with more of these because you have to make a special trip. I know. Yeah, man. And you, I seen Patty P tried to find them. You couldn't find them, Patty P. And I know you couldn't because <laughs> they're they're only in like one store in our neighborhood um, at Sprouts. That's the only place we could find them, and they're new, so it's gonna take a while for them to, to spread around. But it's, I've never had a veggie straw taste so delicious in my life. Um, and they're good for you because they're it's vegetables. Yeah, exactly. I don't feel guilty like I would with hot Cheetos or something like that. You, know, you can't lose. All right, I'm seeing some ice. Let's go. There we go. Snowflakes. What is that? Is that toilet paper? <laughs> what is that, Kim? I, had to, I might have to copy and paste that. See what it is. The one in between the the yeah. flames and the running thing. Oh, it wants me to report it. No, I don't report it. <laughs> Kim was about to get kicked out of the chat by flares, though. That would be epic. <laughs> oh, man. All right. we I don't know what that is. We have to figure it out. We have it's to mystery. Do investigation. I know. All right. Here we go. November James Reflection. taking care of you. Sure you still want to be? Where did that come from? I mean, it's not like I'm going to the NFL anymore. So you think I'm with you because of football? Yeah. That's the only reason why anybody in the city ever cared about me. And now those people that were showing that fake love are the same people that treat me like I'm a fucking husband. Yeah, well, I'm not those people. I'm your girl. I'm not with you because I have to be. I'm with you because I want to be. Ooh. Baby, you good? Baby, you okay? I bet she pregnant. <coughs> yes. Baby, you okay? You sick? I'm pregnant. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> Been through it twice. <laughs> I was just going to say that.
Shout out to November James. Uh, <laughs> uh, Excalibur Zero, I know you know too, man. Um, we know that uh, that pregnancy throw up when we see it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, the composition on this was uh, was dope. It was it was really um, it was it was like inspirational, reflective. Um, love the the smoothness of the the piano. Um, but yeah, man, great work. I think he um he actually did like a lot like the composition on um on that film as well. So shout out to November James. I don't know if he's still in here or not, but shout out to him, the man, the myth, the legend. <clears throat> um, man said he's not going to the league now. We lost the the state championship. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. You already know. There's the toilet paper. Yeah, I thought that was to okay. So it was it's a woman blowing cold air. I don't I don't see it. I have glasses too. Maybe I gotta get closer. Oh, I see it. I see it. Wow. Alright. Y'all know what time it is. Let me see some fire emojis if y'all ready to hear Flares, who is right here live with us. Let me see them fire emojis. LW says this is the best submission we've ever had. What happened to the test? Yo, Loki. <laughs> That's a good question. Like, she must she would have had to take the test before and like knew and just didn't tell him. And then, you know, when she threw up, she I guess she figured that was probably a good time to just let him know, you know, by the way, I know your dreams are crushed, but you also have a baby on the way. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. Let's see. No, in the in the film. Um, very soothing, nice and calm. Agreed. Um, it's definitely a beautiful way to show your music in short film. Yeah. Facts. All right, I see some fire emojis. Let's get it. Flares, I appreciate you, bro, for sharing your, oh, your insight. Exactly. And just spending spending the time with us, man. Oh, so fun. Yeah. This is uh this is rookie flares from twenty twenty. Okay. We got some we got so... some, some rookie flares music. Let's check it out. This is this is what it sounds like to be flares in the beginning. Let's go. Was this was this pre mentorship or like kind of during? It's like right at the beginning of it. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Let's go.
genius, dude. Like that was so that's like what it sounds like in the beginning. <laughs> that yeah, that's me trying to figure out how to uh do really cool complex like arrangement editing stuff in Logic. That wow. that was a 300 tracker. But really? um <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's a but, lot of tracks. Uh, well, yeah, in each track would have just one audio file in it. But yeah, no, that was for like a uh, that was for like a thriller album. Um, wow. So um, that hasn't been synced yet or anything, but that's crazy. But you know what? I I get it because like on the podcast we were talking about how like sound design was like a big part of your trailers, and I did I did a sound design project. And yes, literally, there will be one sound on a track because, like, you just you need to be able to just like these individual things, and they're all at different levels. So I I could see, I could see how you could easily get up there in the in the hundreds of tracks with a with a a trailer with so much sound design and layering and instrumentation. So I guess that that definitely makes sense. Um, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, there's a lot of like really like microscopic like nudging i do just to make sure things really like line up with the grid like a lot of the the impacts and you know i want each impact to sound a little bit different so there's slightly different effects um that i kind of want spread across them so yeah i mean like i said my my sessions aren't the cleanest but um i don't know that's kind of what happens if you know i'm left left to my own devices and you know kind of have a i think that was like a two month deadline for that uh album so oh, had nice. had a bit of time there to go through some revisions and really tighten it up yeah. you know with, with so many edits um yeah I, I think the key to really making it impactful um and cool is to to make it really tight so yeah. you know a, a lot of thought went into that but uh yeah no i, I appreciate it thank you <laughs> I, got, I got i have to give you the dj horn live <laughs> oh like a, feels so good there you go man there you go all right, let's uh let's let's knock out this uh this vote, man. How are we doing it, LW? Are we doing like top three and then letting flares pick one? What what are our, our options? We heard a lot of good music tonight. Really good music. I know some Afrobeat is gonna fall in there somewhere, either from Michael. I'm about to get on a plane. I gotta go to an island. We, we yeah, we should all just go on vacation together. We'll do we'll do the live reviews next week on an <laughs> island. Yes. <laughs> Everybody just bring your your computers. <laughs> um. So yeah, let's see, let's see who we have. This uh this should be interesting. <clears throat> yeah, Lamar's rocking with it. Halftime Slim's rocking with it. Um. I think Crystal Clear Media is blown away at 300 tracks. Understandable. Um, this was pre-Flares. Wow, straight up amazing. Um, I want to hear some Jim Ross WWE commentary over a Flares track. That would be <laughs> epic as well. Man. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, LW says, pick the winner, Flares. We have Zim Zada, Michael Connor, Sharon Soul, John Allen, and Halftime Slim. Oh man, you got to pick oh, one. That's tough. <laughs> I know I'm left with the responsibility. Ah, uh, um, man, no, all, all really great tracks. I, I might, I'm, I know, I know, Mike's been on a roll, but I might have to. I just might have to give it to him. Um. Mike, yeah, I think you got it this week. So, Michael got another uh, one. Man, great job, great job, everybody. Shout out to Mike. Yeah, man, a lot of dope music. Um, yeah, great work, y'all. Flares, thank you again for joining us, man. We won't hold you. Um, but this was dope, man. It was fun. We learned a lot about you. Uh, we finally figured out if you were human, which is great. We can all sleep at night now, knowing the answer to that. Uh, so yeah man keep it up much success shout out to everybody in the stream man we will be back i think i think we'll be back next week i have to check my calendar but yeah i think we'll be back but y'all y'all take it easy man i'll catch you guys on the next one peace